Good afternoon, students. Today, our lecture is Unit 12, Reported Speech, Reporting Verbs, and Saying Sorry. Tense changes in reported statements. It is usual for the verb in the reported clause to move one tense back. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, for example, said and told. It is usual, يعني فشي طبيعي للفعل في reported clause or statement في الكلام المنقول to move one tense back يرجع uh, صيغة الفعل uh, واحد إلى الوراء tense one tense it moves one tense back if the reporting verb إذا كان الفعل الناقل is in the past tense في الماضي for example said and told the present becomes past present perfect becomes past perfect Past becomes past perfect. So, the, uh, the tense moves one tense back. The present becomes past, pe present perfect becomes past perfect, and the past becomes past perfect. For example, I'm going. He said he was going. هذا يعني الكلام المنقول. إحنا دا نقل عن شخص. الشخص تكلم وإحنا دا ننقل كلامه. I'm going. Somebody said, I'm going. He said he was going. He said he was going. So, the present became past. She's passed her test. Means she has passed her test. He told me she had passed her test. You see that the present perfect here became Past perfect here. We moved to Canada when I was six. This is the past. She said they had moved to Canada when she was six. It became past perfect. Here the past became, the past became, the past perfect. It moved one tense back. The, all these sentences moved one tense back. The verb also moves one tense back. When we are reporting thoughts and feelings. Here, the verb also, it moves one tense back. When, when we are reporting thoughts and feelings. إحنا كذلك الفعل يرجع tense, one tense back. When we are reporting thoughts and feelings. من إحنا دا ننقل الأفكار والمشاعر. For example, I thought she was married, but she isn't. I didn't know he was a teacher. I thought he worked in a bank. Here, those verbs, these verbs all changed one tense back. I forgot you were coming. Never mind, come in. I hoped you would call. These are all verbs that move one tense back when we report thoughts and feelings. Number two, there is no tense change if. There is no tense change. يعني صيغة الفعل ما تتغير إذا. Number one, the reporting verb is in the present tense. There is no tense change. It doesn't change the tense. صيغة الفعل ما تتغير. If the reporting verb is in the present tense. إذا كان the reporting verb بال بال المضارع. Present tense. For example, says asks. The bus will be late. He says the bus will be late. You see here the tense didn't change. It remained. The same will be remained, will be the same. I come from Spain. She says she comes from Spain. Because there is says, as I said, here. So the reporting verb did not, the tense of the sentence or the statement did not change because the reporting verb is in the present tense. For example, says and asks. 
If the reported speech is about something that is still true, the tense doesn't change if the reported speech is about something that is still true. For example, rainforests are being destroyed. She told him that rainforest, may, it remained the same, are being destroyed because something that is still true, because rainforests uh, forests are being destroyed. It remained true. It is still true. I hate football. I told him I hate football. So, if the reported speech is about something that is still true, uh, for example, I uh, I hate football and I still hate football. يعني ما تغير شيء. I hate football. So, there is no tense change. It remains the same. Some modal verbs change. Here we have modal verbs. Can, will, may. Can changes to could. Will, would. May, might. For example, she can type, she can type well. Here is the modal verb can. He told me she could type well. So the modal verb can changed into could. I'll help you, will. Here is the uh, short form of will. I'll help you. She said she'd help me, would. Will becomes would. I may come. She said she might come. So may changed to might. So modal verbs change. Can becomes could and will becomes would and may be, uh, becomes might. Other modal verbs don't change. Other modal verbs don't change. So, so the modal verbs that change are can, will, and may. But other modal verbs do not change. For example, you should go to bed. He told me I should go to bed. Here, the modal verb should remain should. Should ما تغيرت. بقت نفسها بال, uh, بال, report, بال reported uh, statement. It might rain. She, sa she said she thought it might rain. Here might remained might. It did not change. لكن من أكو may may تتغير إلى might. لكن إذا أكو بالstatement بال, uh, بالجملة بالsentence might نفسها it does not change. لكن إذا أكو may may تتغير إلى might but might does not change. Might remains might. As you see here in these two examples, should remain should and might remain might. Must stays as as must. Must كذلك ما تتغير. It stays must. Or changes to had to. يعني أما تبقى must or had to. So must stays as must or changes to had to. For example, I must go. He said he must go or he said he mu he had to go. So, if there is must in the statement, you either leave it as must or, or changes to had to. So, must stays must or changes to had to as this example. I must go. He said he must go or... Stays here in this statement, it uh, reported uh, statement, it uh, stayed as must here. Or when I say he said he had to go, it is also correct, must changes into had. So must either stays must or changes to had to. Reporting verbs. Here we are going to talk about verbs, reporting verbs. We rarely use say with an indirect object that is to say the person spoken to we rarely يعني نادرا نستعمل say with an indirect object that what is the indirect object the person spoken to when we speak to somebody the indirect object is the person spoken to she said she was going so here we use the verb say 
but the, uh, here in this sentence it is in the past tense she said she was going not she said to me she was going here there is no indirect object it is incorrect to use the indirect object here she said to me she was going but in contrast tell is always used with, with an indirect object in reported speech tell is always used with, with an indirect object here here are the indirect objects she told me the news she told the doctor the news she told us the news she told her husband the news so with say in reported speech we do not use an indirect object but with the verb tell there is always an indirect object in reported speech as i said i repeat it again she said she was going it is incorrect to say she said to me me here is the indirect object she was going but with tell there must be an indirect object in reported speech. She told me the news. She told the doctor the news. She told us the news. She told her husband the news. Here, the indirect object with tail is the person spoken to. So with tail, there must be an indirect object in reported speech in contrast with, say, uh, there is no indirect object in reported speech. We can use that after say and tell. نستخدم that بعد say and tell. He told her that he would he would be home late. Here we use that after tell or this is told tell in the past tense. She said that sales were down from last year. Here also we use that after the verb say or said. So we can use that after say and tell. Many verbs are most descriptive than say and tell. أكثر الأفعال تكون descriptive وصفية أكثر من say and tell. For example, explain يفسر, interrupt يقاطع, demand يطلب يعني بشدة, insist يعني شخص إنه insist on you يعني يضطرك. يضطر admit يعترف complain يتذمر warn يح, يحذر so here these verbs all these verbs they are more descriptive than say and tell for example he explained that he would be home late he complained complained that sales were down that year he admitted that he would be home late or he admitted that sales were down that year so here we used also that we use that also after these verbs like say and tell we can use that after these verbs but these verbs are more descriptive than say and tell Sometimes we report the idea rather than the actual words. بعض الأحيان إحنا report يعني نعلن عن الفكرة not the actual words مو الكلمات الحقيقية. For example, I'll lend you some money. He offered to lend me some money. Here we reported the idea, not the actual words. I won't help you. She refused to help me. I reported the idea. So we can report the idea sometimes rather than the actual words. Reported questions. Here uh, in this uh, slide we are talking, we will talk about the reported questions. The word order and reported questions. Here we are talking about the word order in reported questions is different in reported speech. In reported question, the word order tertib al kalimat is different in reported speech. There is no inversion of subject and auxiliary verb, and there is no does do does did. There is no inversion, يعني ما نقلب subject والauxiliary verb. 
وما نستعمل do does and did this is similar to indirect questions so here in reported questions uh, reported questions is similar to indirect questions because there is no inversion of subject and auxiliary verb and if you remember there is no do does and did for example why have you come here that's that is here there is a question and the reported question i asked her why she had come here there is no inversion of subject auxiliary and auxiliary verb there is no do does and did what time is it somebody asked me what time is it i uh, reported the question of uh, that uh, that uh, person he wants to know what time it is he wants to know what time it is. Where do you live? Somebody asked. She asked me where I lived. Here there is no inversion of subject auxiliary verb. There is no uh, do, does, and did. Note, we do not use a question mark in a reported question. Here it is a question, but here is, is the reported question we do not use a question mark in the reported question this is not the reported question why have you come here it, it is a, a normal question but the answer is a reported question i asked her why she had come here why have you come here sorry not the answer I reported the question. I asked her why she had come here. So there is no question mark. Also, he wants to know what time it is. This is a reported question. There is no question mark. And also, she asked me where I live. There is no a question mark. We do not use say in reported question. Here in reported question, as you see, the, we, can, we do not say yeah, uh, say. We say asked, asked here, once. So we do not use say in reported questions. He said, how old are you? That is a question. But the reported question, he asked me how old I am. Here, we did not use say in the reported question. We used asked. So we do not use say in reported question. Number two, if there is no question word, use if or whether. If there is no question word, what is a question word? What, who, where, when, how? Uh, these are question words. If there is no question word, we use if or whether. She wants to know if she should wear a dress. She wants to know whether she should wear a dress because there is no question word here. So we use if or whether. If there is no question word in the question, we in the reported speech, we do not use, uh, we use, sorry, if or whether. Reported commands, request, etc. Commands, yani awamar, request, talab, talabat. For reported commands, requests, offers, عرض يعني عروض, and advice, نصائح, we use verb, the verb plus the person plus two plus infinitive. That is for reported commands, requests, offers, and advice, we use verb plus person plus two plus infinitive. For example, they told us to go away. Here is the verb, the person, to, and the infinitive go. He, they asked me to look after their cat. He urged the teacher to go back to work. She persuaded me to have my hair cut. I advised the president to leave immediately. So you see here, the, these words are in bold. They are verbs plus the person plus two plus infinitive. Here, the verb, I advise the president to leave immediately. Advise the verb, person, the president to, and leave is the infinitive. Say is not possible. The verb say is not possible. Use ask and told. For negative commands, use not before to. 
بالنيجاتيف ان كوماندز بالاوردرز يعني بالاوامر وي يوز ذا نوت بيفور تو فور اكزامبل هي تولد مي نوت تو تيل اني ون وي يوز نوت بيفور ذا تو ذا بوليس وونت بيبول نوت تو جو اوت سو فور نيجاتيف كوماندز فور كوماندز لكن نيجاتيف كوماندز وي يوز نوت بيفور تو وي يوز تيل for reported statements and reported commands but the form is different the form is different so we use tell for reported statements and reported commands but the form is different for reported statements here about tell the verb tell for example he told me that he was going that is a statement reported statement they told us that they were going abroad She told them what had been happening. So here are reported statements with the verb tell. Reported commands with tell. He told me to keep still. The police told people to move on. My parents told me to clean up my room. So you can see the difference in form between reported statements and reported commands. Here he told me that he was going. But in reported commands, he told me to keep still. We did not use to here. We use that. We use ask for reported commands and reported questions. So ask here, the verb ask is used for commands and reported commands and reported questions. But the form is different. Ask in reported commands. I was asked to attend the interview. He asked me to open my suitcase. She asked me not to leave. That is all. These are all reported commands of the verb ask. Reported questions with the verb ask. He asked me what I did for a living. I asked her how much the rent was. She asked me why I had come. You can see here there is no to in the reported questions with the verb say. Sorry, with the verb ask. Ask and tell. Remember that ask can be used to report questions and commands and tell can be used to report statements and commands. But the form is different, as I said before. For questions, he asked me where I lived. He asked me, she asked me if I want to lift. For statements of tell, of the verb tell, he told me he was very unhappy. He told his wife that he loved her. Commands, when we use reported commands, for commands, he asked me to turn the music down. And awamr. He asked me to turn the music down. تلاحظون حتى من من طريقة meaning of the sentence تلاحظون إنه هي هاي command أمر. She told him to go away. He she asked me to turn the music down. She told him to go away. Notice the negative command. They asked me not to tell anyone. As I said before, we we uh, used not before to. She told her son not to worry. Here uh, we put not uh, before to. Which sentence is a reported statement? Which se which is a reported command? He told them to stop making a noise, and she told them that she lived next door. So, which sentence of these is a reported statement? He told them to stop making a noise is a reported command. He told them to stop making a noise. It is a command. She told them that she lived next door. It is a reported statement. Which sentence is a reported question? And which is a reported request? I asked them to stop making a noise. She asked me if I had met them before. The first one is a reported request. I asked them to stop making a noise. That is a request. And she asked me if I had met them before. That is a reported question. Uh, uh, this is a small uh, passage or a paragraph about 
reported speech. September 24th, Sunday. Tom and I had our first big row last night, all about our, our honeymoon. Of course, it was horrible. We shouted at each other. He told me, Tlahdun Hai reported uh, speech, he told me that it was my fault that we'd gone to Mexico and that the holiday had cost a fortune and had been the worst holiday he had ever had. Fault here, يعني الخطأك. خطأي. Fortune, يعني ثروة. I said that there was, here said, is used, I said that there was nothing wrong with Mexico. It was very beautiful, but the travel agency were to blame. Their brochure, يعني النشرة أو الكتيب, had promised all kinds of things about the hotel and it had all been lies. كل كذب كذب. I told him here is a reported speech. I told him that he had no right to blame me, and I started and I started crying. Blame يعني يلوم. Tom said. He was sorry and that he knew that it wasn't my fault really. He said that he would go to the travel agent first thing in the morning and that he would tell them about everything that had gone wrong. I said that I would go too because I was going to ask for our money back or another holiday. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Reporting verbs. Complete the sentences. Use the correct form of the verb in the box. Number one. Please come to our wedding. They invited me to their wedding. These are reporting verbs. You use them in the correct sentence. The first one is invited. Number two. You should save some money. The bank manager advised me to save money nasahani the bank manager advised me to save money advised a d v i z s e d advised past tense we use here the past tense of the verb advised advised me to save some money number 3 no i'm sorry but i won't work late this evening i Refused. I refused to stay late at the office on Friday evening. Refused. The past tense of refused. I refused to stay late at the office on Friday evening. Number four. Get out of your car. Somebody said, get out of your car. The police officer ordered me to get out of my car ordered me to get out of my car number five can you tell me what the time is he asked me what the time was he asked me what the time was number six don't forget to put the cat out she reminded me to put the cat out she reminded me to put the cat, the cat out. Number seven. Put the letters on the table, please. She told, told him to put the letters on the table. She told him to put the letters on the table. I'll repeat it again. The bank manager advised me to save money. Number three. I refused to stay late at the office on Friday evening. The police officer ordered me to get out of my car. He asked me what the time was. She reminded me to put the cat out. She told him to put the letters on the table.